guys and welcome back to another episode of Crazy Kind Kitchen. It's been a long time since I've done one of these episodes. I think it's been like, I was counting and it was close to seven videos ago, which means that must mean it was like close to seven weeks ago, which is really, really crazy. Today is gonna be a little bit different kind of kitchen episode than what I normally do because normally I make a new recipe I've never made before and I take you guys along with me, see how it turns out, if I can do it and whatever. But this time I decided it might be kind of fun to show you my one of my favorite recipes that I have made. <laughs> Sage is playing with her toy over there if you heard that. It's one of my favorite recipes that I've made ever since I was a kid. I would make it for, we'd have it for supper sometimes or breakfast even. Um, my family ate a lot of breakfast food. We loved breakfast. But this is um, a baked oatmeal recipe that we kind of, my mom kind of tweaked to make it a little bit healthier. That's just the only way we've ever eaten it. And honestly, I like it so much better. It's so good. So I thought I will take you guys along with me and I'm gonna make a pan of baked oatmeal. What I like to do a lot of times is like, make it on a weekend or something and then I have it for the next week out for breakfast and I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier breakfast right now. If you guys don't know, I am such a cereal fan. Like, I love cereal and I think that's what gets me a lot is my unhealthy breakfast. So what I'm trying to do, I got stuff on hand again to have like yogurt and fruit bowls for breakfast and I wanna make a pan of this baked oatmeal, have that on hand. So this isn't gonna be as much of a, let's see how this goes type of video, it's more of a how I do this type of video, which is crazy because I'm, I'm not an experienced cook or anything like that. So it's kind of weird to make something that I, I'm so used to making and, and I can actually tell you guys how I'm doing this, how to do something. It's kind of weird for me. So <laughs> it's gonna be fun though and let's just get right into the baking. Here's my very messy <clears throat> cookbook cupboard and yeah, it's I had or, I had it very organized at one time and then it just kind of ended up looking like this. So when I was engaged, I got this recipe book at Target in the dollar spot, but you can fill in your own recipes and stuff and it's been super nice. But the one we're gonna be using is back here, right here, baked oatmeal. I used to have like this entire recipe memorized, but like when I was little, but I haven't made it, I don't make it quite as often as what I used to, so now I have to look at the recipe before I just grab all my ingredients. But here's a start, we're gonna be using um, organic quick oats. I know rolled oats are technically a little healthier for you, but whenever for some reason I make baked oatmeal with rolled oats, it ends up with kind of like an eggy texture on the bottom of the pan, like on the bottom of ba the baked oatmeal, and I, can't stand it and so quick oats are the only ones that don't do that for me for some reason maybe it has to do with the recipe and the substitutes that i use i'm not sure but i in general just like quick oats so much better so i get the organic quick oats to make myself feel like i'm being healthier <laughs> so these are all the ingredients it's really nothing too crazy it's just the milk we have the oats cooking spray salt baking powder a half stick of butter two eggs and the kicker is the maple syrup because we use this instead of sugar and it is so so good sorry if this is a weird angle but i just it's so hard to find an angle right now that doesn't have horrible lighting because it's very cloudy outside and when it's cloudy outside it makes the house just dark and but when i turn on the lights it makes it really yellow and orange so just kind of bear with me what the first thing we're going to do is mix the syrup the butter and the eggs and what i'm going to do is put this recipe in half because for Chip and I it only takes half. So we're gonna start with the syrup. It calls for one and one fourth cup of maple syrup but we're gonna do half of that so like a little bit less than three fourths. This is so random but it's like one of the first times that I'm baking with a glass mixing bowl, a clear glass mixing bowl and I think for some reason it is so fun. I got this little thing at a thrift store and I was just in love with it when I saw it. It's just so cute. You can see all the ingredients. Ah, uh, I don't know. I just love it. And next we are going to melt the butter. Originally it calls for one stick of butter, which is a half a cup, but we're putting it in half, so just a half stick of butter. And while the butter is melting, I'm gonna go ahead and put in the eggs. It calls for four eggs, so of course we're just doing two. And I like to always put my ingredients away as I use them. It just really helps my countertop stay cleared off and I just feel like my life is together. Look at this melted goodness. We're gonna pour that right in there. 
And then we're just gonna whisk it up like so. And it's going to look something like this. Now that we have those things added, we are going to add the rest of our ingredients. And I'm very sorry, you can't see my face very well at all. Maybe I'll try to switch up the angle. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, next we're gonna do three cups of oatmeal. Sometimes I feel so stupid apologizing that you can't see my face because it makes it sound like I think you have to see my face. But <laughs> then I'm like, I don't really like watching a YouTuber when you can't see their face while they're talking to you. So I guess there's that. So originally it calls for six cups, that means we're doing three cups of oatmeal. We're gonna do two teaspoons of baking powder. We're also gonna do one teaspoon of salt. And then one cup of milk. It's so simple, it's literally the easiest thing ever. And I just realized I forgot to preheat my oven and that always takes so long, my oven takes so long. So you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And while the oven is preheating, we are just going to mix up all these ingredients. Look at this adorable wooden spoon. It was gifted to me, I think, at my bridal shower. It's got like a rose gold end, it's so beautiful. Do you want to know a funny story? <laughs> So I used to, like I said, I always made this like so many times when I was little and it turned out perfectly every time. And I knew exactly how much to make for our family and everything. And then when we got married, I was like, well, I'll just obviously put the recipe in half and it's gonna be great. I forgot that the oven, our oven is so old and I don't think it heats quite properly. So I always turn mine a little bit higher sometimes than what the recipe says. So anyway, I did not do that this first time that I made baked oatmeal. So I made it and I put it in a pan, put it in the oven, and it turned out horribly. The middle was so not done, but the edges were like almost burned. And I was just having a horrible evening, if I remember right. It was just a bad day. And then the recipe, and I was like, I'm just gonna make baked oatmeal for supper because it's something I'm familiar with, I know how to do. And even that flopped, and I was so upset. And then just recently I made this and I forgot to put the salt in half, but everything else was in half, so it was way too salty. So I definitely mess up this recipe still sometimes. But now I finally have it figured out, the temperature I put my oven at, what kind of pan I put this in. I started putting it in a more shallow dish so it bakes all the way through. This one I also got at a thrift store. I just love thrifted dishes. They're so fun and unique. So once I started turning the oven up and putting it in a more shallow pan, now it turns out. I just had to figure out what worked with my oven and I did not know that the first time and it was a sad day. We had an awful supper, but <laughs> hey, we're still here. I'll give you guys a little close up. This is what it looks like. It is so, so good. Next, I'm gonna spray the pan. The recipe does not say to do this, but I always do it just because I feel like it helps it not stick so much. So I don't think you have to do it, but I just found out for me it helps better. I don't know, it just works better. Okay, we're gonna pour this in our prepared pan and I'm gonna give you guys a little ASMR. Get you up nice and close. Look at this. Isn't this just delightful? My favorite part is spreading it out into the pan. It's so, so satisfying. Okay, my oven just beeped while I was spreading that in the dish, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. We are going to put it in for 30 minutes. So I know this is kind of random to the theme of the video, but there is something I wanted to show you guys, and I didn't know how to incorporate it, so I'm just gonna talk about it and show you. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me post about this, but I am working with a company called K&R Creative and they like started up, they have some leather products, some signs and things like that. They're just a really unique shop. It's two ladies that do it. And they were so kind as to send me one of their newest products. This is the mini envelope wallet. I think it's called the Minimalist. One second, my phone is ringing. Okay, where did I leave off? I'm not even sure. So, but this is what the pouch looks like on the inside. It's just a like one pocket pouch. It's for coins or cards. And I think what I'm gonna like to use it for is, you know all of that like empty, empty, spare change you have like laying around in a car. Anytime I get change, I hate carrying change in my wallet. So I think it'd be kind of neat to leave this in my car 
for any spare change and then I can just whip it out and stick my change in there. Or it'd be great for traveling because if you just want to take something small like just your cards and a little bit of cash, it'd be perfect for that. There's just a ton of things you could use it for. You could use it for like little makeup things in your purse. It's so adorable and the best part is they are actually, yeah, they still are. They're running a sale on it. I think it's on sale for $21 right now. So be sure to check out my description box. I'm going to link them in the bottom, in the bottom, <laughs> in my description box for you guys. You can go straight to their shop, check them out. They have a lot of other products you can check out as well. But yeah, this is the one I have. So cute. And I don't know how long the sale is going to be up. I know when they originally told me they said the sale is going for a month, but I know it's actually been going for a little while anyway. So if you want one of these while it's on sale, be sure to head over right now. I mean, don't go right now. We want to see how the baked oatmeal turns out. You can go after this video and check them out and make sure to get it while it's still on sale. I know you guys are going to love these because oh, I would just want every single one of their leather products and they are beautiful. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that for a little bit. All right, let's check on it. Woo, got all fogged up. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna put it in for just a couple more minutes just to make sure the middle is done. Oh my goodness, look at that. It looks so delicious. I think what I'm gonna do just for fun, I'm gonna put it in a nice bowl. I'm gonna make a little helping for myself for a little bit of lunch. I'm so excited to eat this. I'm gonna show you exactly how I usually eat it in the mornings, just to give you ideas of how you can eat it, which I'm pretty sure most people know how to eat baked oatmeal. <laughs> but we're gonna make it look nice, because that's just pleasing. Okay, my camera just informed me that my battery was about to die, so I had to change my battery. But I'm gonna move you guys over here by my espresso machine, and I'm gonna show you what I do for breakfast. So normally I do strawberry or not strawberries peaches with it but my peaches are not quite ripe yet and I don't want to cut them up prematurely because I want to enjoy them when they're truly ripe so I'm just going to be putting on some strawberries and some blueberries with it this is on a completely random note but I have started to feel the baby move and I have absolutely been loving it I felt it for the first time when we were in Savannah it was on Friday night or maybe Saturday night I can't quite remember I'm pretty sure it was Friday night and I had just laid in bed and all of a sudden I just felt this little like, it kind of feels like little bubbles in your stomach sort of, but you can just tell that it's not you, it's something else moving. <laughs> but now it's kind of gradually moved from little bubble feelings to more like just kind of, it feels like rumbling inside. <laughs> it's so hard to explain, but like you can just tell that, yeah, I've been able to see my stomach move like when the baby moves. It's so much fun. I knew that when the baby started to move that that would be my favorite part of pregnancy and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it. I know like my midwife told me probably like at the end when it's moving a lot, you're gonna wish it would settle down, but honestly, I don't really want it to settle down. It's kind of peace of mind for me to feel it move. It usually moves the most in the evenings and if I don't feel it move very much, I get kind of nervous. So like when it moves, I have peace of mind and I really don't think I'll ever complain about it moving too much just because I'm just so thankful that it is moving. But I do understand sometimes the baby like goes up in your ribs and it does hurt and whatever when they kick. So I'm not saying that that won't happen, but I'm just, I love when it moves so much. I think you understand what I'm saying. And I also hate calling the baby an it because we don't know what it is yet. And I just, I want to know so bad so we can just start being more personable with it and with the baby. <laughs> but um, we find out in about two weeks. So I'm a little over 20 weeks right now. So we find out around 22 weeks. We are so excited for that. I cannot wait. <laughs> Here is our beautiful and adorable little bowl of fresh baked oatmeal. I normally eat my baked oatmeal with peaches and milk in the morning. But since my peaches weren't quite ripe this morning, or today I'm going to eat it with yogurt because I don't know if I'm gonna like blueberries in milk. I'm not really sure. Here it is. I just kind of put my yogurt on top of it. Didn't make it look too pretty, but but it does look amazing and I cannot wait to eat this. Let's taste it. All right, here we go. I really have no doubt that this is gonna be good, so here it is. Give you a little ASMR. So delicious. It's honestly so good. 
I could have it for breakfast, lunch, and supper. I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but this is very good. <laughs> I will be sure, for sure, to put the recipe for this in the description box below. Because like I've always said, it's not fun to watch a cooking video and not be able to get the recipe. I feel like this video is going to be short and I'm trying to think if there's anything I can add to it. Okay, something very happy just happened, <laughs> fortunately, so I'm going to put it in the video. It does not relate to cooking at all, but this is still a Crazy Cam Kitchen episode. But I have to show you this, something very happy and you're going to love it. Look at this giant package that just arrived. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. So the story I'm about to tell you guys might annoy some people, <laughs> but it's so bizarre. I just had to tell you guys. And I also want to give this shop a shout out. That's why I want to include it. Sage is just like baffled at this. She could not stop sniffing the package and she's like, what is going on? A couple days ago, there was, uh, okay, I have to back up a little bit. I have been looking and looking and looking for a diaper bag that I love and something that's just different than what I see all the time. And I really wanted something leather, but I couldn't find anything that wasn't just outrageously expensive or that everyone already had. Like, it seems like it was either way too expensive or everyone had it already. And I was just so wishing I could find something different. So I found something that I absolutely loved but the problem was it's like two hundred and twenty dollars chip was like eh probably not <laughs> and there was no way i was gonna get it i thought maybe i what i could do is save up my fetch rewards points and get a visa gift card but even still i'd have to pay i'd still have to pay for it and i was just pretty much had given up all hope of even getting this bag i'm just gonna find something at target or something but, so I decided I'm gonna start following the company that sells this diaper bag on Instagram because I didn't know maybe they'd have like a July 4th giveaway or something. So when I went on, on Instagram to follow them, I saw that they were currently doing a giveaway, a Father's Day giveaway, and they had partnered with another company giving away a bunch of leather products. The other company was contributing leather products and the company that the diaper bag was from was contributing a $500 gift card. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be probably my only chance of ever, my only hope of ever getting this diaper bag. So I entered the giveaway. I tagged and tagged and tagged so many people because I don't think I've ever been more serious about winning a giveaway than I was for this one. So I tagged a ton of people, like I said, and then when I was at work one day, I looked at my phone, I got this notification and said, Albion Fit, I think that's how you say them, Albion Fit. Um, tagged you in a post and I, I was like oh my goodness what in the world here I had won the giveaway I could have cried I'm pro I promise I almost cried when I found out that I won because I was like there was no yeah it's something so small but I just felt like it was a god thing for some reason I just felt like I don't know the same day that I won I went and ordered the diaper bag the diaper bag did not come today because that was a separate order from the giveaway itself so that should be coming soon I think but I'll show you the other stuff that I won These things that I won are not from Albion fit it's from the other shop that they collaborated with for the giveaway and this company these products here are from Kodiak Leather Co they have just beautiful products and technically these things in the box here are for chip because it was a Father's Day giveaway and these things were kind of for the guy but I decided I'll let chip have this stuff I'm gonna take the giveaway and I got my diaper bag so first up we have this very beautiful leather cosmetics bag it's a guy's cosmetics bag it has two big compartments and it's gorgeous it's a dark leather um, that's what the bottom looks like and so there's that also won this leather wallet from them from Kodiak Leather Co looks like this and it opens up like that I mean not that Chip even needed another wallet but I'm like hey he might like this one the best thing that I told him I might use too is this giant leather duffel bag it's so pretty and it comes with like a shoulder strap on the inside there's the strap it's just absolutely beautiful this thing is absolutely gorgeous amazing quality so those are the three things i got in the mail today and i was so excited about that next we're awaiting the arrival of the diaper bag the main reason why i entered the giveaway she wants to chew on it that's gonna be a no yeah that's not happening 
that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of all over the place. It was meant to only be a kitchen video, but kind of turned into some other things. But that's all right. I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you have a fantastic afternoon yet, the rest of this day. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. When you like a video and when you comment on a video, it really helps a channel, it helps boost the channel, helps it increase its reach. So feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you wish to do so. And don't forget to subscribe and you'll stick around and you'll see all the other fun things coming up in the future. But yeah, I hope you have a really great day and I will see you very soon in my next video on Wednesday. Bye!